What's up guys, it's Christopher here from Cars Unlocked. Today, we're gonna go through the infotainment system in the Hyundai Tucson. We're gonna show you how to connect your phone to Bluetooth, set up your Android Auto, adjust your radio presets, all on your Hyundai infotainment screen. Let's get into it. Okay, so we're on our main screen here now, and you can see they've kind of set this up in a few different quadrants here. Uh, we have our radio controls, our connectivity controls, and then our main controls down below. We're just gonna go through everything from start to finish here, set up the Android Auto, we'll set some presets for the radio, connect our phone to Bluetooth so that you know exactly how to do it. Um, let's start with the menu here. You can edit your widgets where you want them to be. If you wanna change any of these widgets that I just explained, you can change them. So instead of the radio, if you want a clock on there, now it will show up as a clock on your right widget. You can edit your right widget if you want it to be the radio. So there you can edit these widgets as well and you can adjust them. But let's just go to all of our menus and let's start with our phone. So we're gonna connect our phone here. I do have my Android phone here with me. So I'm going to add a new phone. I'm gonna hit add. And there it's canceling the original device. And here we're gonna go into my phone settings. And we are gonna go Bluetooth. We're gonna go find pair new device. And it should come up here. Tucson. So here it is, Tucson now. And our phone's paired. Yes, I'm gonna allow it to access the contact history. And now my phone's paired. So you can see it's just loading my contacts, one plus six, and now it's connected and loaded. So I can put my phone back in my pocket and I can put it down here. Now here's all the things that I can do with my phone. It's gonna take a few minutes to download my call history and my contacts, but there it is. You can see here's my call history as well. And just for privacy purposes, we're gonna blur out all the names so that uh, you guys can't see the names of all my friends and family, but here they all are. I can scroll through and I can make calls right through my phone book here. I can also click this one. If I know the number, I can just dial it the old fashioned way. So you can also go into your phone menu. Here you can change your different uh, menu settings, like your Bluetooth settings. You can switch your device. Privacy mode will just hide everything, uh, your call history, your contacts. Basically everything we've blurred out you know, will hide in the privacy mode. So here you can do your vehicle diagnostics. So that's gonna tell you things like um, your temperatures, all your fluid, ga your fluid gauges and all your fluid levels, things like that. It's all gonna show up in your vehicle diagnostics and you can play around with the Blue Link settings if you want to, but it's pretty much all set for you. So let's go to the radio. In the radio, you can see we're on our Sirius satellite radio. There's quite a few stations on the Sirius XM and you can see the icon shows up here. Um, I'm tuning through and then you can just set your presets by clicking this star button here. If you wanna set a preset, you can just hit star and then it will come up on the left hand side here. These are all my presets um, for my Sirius XM, my AM, FM, whatever we want to do. So you can do that as well. You can also just enter the, sta the station manually. Like if I want to go to station 15, I can just hit 15, okay. And there it takes me to station 15. Um, you can also play around with your menu here. So there's my presets. You can do featured favorites. Your channel list, if you want to see all the channels right on a list, here they are all listed from one to, what's go up to like 155 or something. So there's a ton of stations and you can just scroll through them all. You can remove stations from your channel list if you don't like those stations, so it's a lot easier. But that's pretty much the Sirius Satellite Radio. Let's go to our FM now. The FM works the same way. Just gonna turn it down. But here we have the HD radio. Same thing, I can use the tuner to scroll through here. Um, you can use the arrows as well to tune your station. And once you get to the station you like, you just hit the star and now it's favorited. So pretty neat there. You can also do your menu and there you can do the same thing. You can enter your station manually. If I like 1071, I can just type it in and there it is typed in. So 
couple different settings. You can also change the presets. You can have the info come on. So there it's telling us what the song is. Barracuda by heart. And then the AM is pretty much the same way. Same thing, you just scroll through and you can star your favorite for the preset. So that's pretty much the radio, guys. Let's go back into our menu here. And our next one is our media. So that's gonna be all of our Bluetooth audio streaming we have on now. So here you can see, you can play from your Spotify. Like I can go on to my Spotify and I can select a song and I hit play. And here it is now on my radio here. So a few different ways you can play music through Spotify, different apps, iHeartRadio, Amazon Music, Bluetooth audio streaming. You can watch Cars Unlocked on YouTube if you'd like. Um, and then here is our menu. Again, we can change our device. We can play around with our sound settings. Our media source, so we can play music through Bluetooth, USB, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, which we're gonna get to in a second. So those are all the different ways to play music. All right, so now everybody's favorite part, we gotta to connect to the Android Auto if you wanna make voice calls or use your Google Maps, things like that. So I have my cord plugged into the USB here and I'm just gonna plug it into my phone and it should automatically connect to the Android Auto when I plug it in. And there you go, you can see it's asking. Um, follow the prompts here, just hit next, okay. Follow the prompts on your phone, hit next. And now it's gonna automatically connect to my Android Auto. Here I can see my music, I can see my Google Maps right on my phone using the Android Auto. And then I can just do a Google search and I can hit search. I've done full tutorials of the Android Auto, so we're not gonna go through all that. Today we are just concerned with setting it up to your Tucson, which you can see is pretty easy and simple as just plugging it in. You can also use the voice commands now that I have it set up here. So I just need to hit the voice command buttons. Call mom. mobile so there we go now it's gonna call my mom on mobile just using the voice commands nice and easy I'm gonna hang up here I don't want to bugger so there's a few other things you can do after you've connected to the Android Auto that's pretty much the Android Auto make sure you guys check out my videos we're gonna put them in the description below if you have trouble connecting to Android Auto or you wanted just a quick tutorial on how to use Android Auto. I just showed you the maps real quick. I showed you how to make one call, but there's so much you can do in the Android Auto. Um, you can also use the Hyundai net screen here to do a voice me memo. So you can do a few different things. You can uh, record your voice to set reminders, things like that. You can say, hello, subscribe to Cars Unlocked. And now it's saved there. So if you need a little reminder, remind yourself to pick up little Timmy or go get groceries, you can use re your reminder there um, with the voice menus. I don't really know why you do that. You have that in your phone. Quiet mode, you know, if the kids are sleeping in the back, you can turn on your quiet mode and basically it will allow the radio to only be displayed out of the front speakers so that your kids can quietly sleep in the back. Valet mode, so if you go to a valet, you can have a password for the valet so they can't access all your details on the screen. A little easier if you do uh, valet parking pretty often. And then here is, oops, someone's calling me. I'm just gonna reject it there. So you can see when someone calls you, you can either accept it or reject it, but I'm gonna reject it there. There's a quick little pop-up for you guys. That's what happens after you connect your phone and someone calls you. So let's go into the setup here. So now after the valet mode, you can go into the setup here. And here you can play around with all your settings. Most of it's already pretty up set, pretty set up for you when you purchase your vehicle. But here you can see you can adjust the position of your focus of your sound. You can kind of make it if you want it more towards the front of the car, towards the back, your balance, your fade. You can adjust and then your sound tuning, things like treble, mid-range bass, you can adjust here, and then your guidance, so 
You can set different guidance modes for your audio volumes when you're driving and then your system volume. So that's things like the beeps that you're hearing, um, things like your speed dependent volume control, your speed up volume limit, so the volume will increase as you accelerate, and then your radio noise, so your noise reduction as well. It just will help reduce background noise from the vehicle, which is a pretty nice feature in the car. Device connections, we kind of went through it already. You can play around with your Bluetooth connections. Here you can see it's connecting to the other phone now that I've selected that. But there's a few different ways. We've already showed you how to set up a phone, so this is a little repetitive. Let's get out of this and go back here. Um, in the device connections, you can also play around with your phone productions. Um, if you have trouble connecting to Android Auto, you can kind of connect it through here manually if it doesn't automatically connect on your phone. Um, there's your button adjustment, so you can put, um, you see how it's beeping when I push the button. If you want it on quiet mode, it's not going to beep when I push a button. Things like that you can adjust with the button settings here. Display is more like um, your brightness. So you can see there's a blue light filter. You can turn on a screen saver if you want a screen saver. There's a few different things you can do in the display here. And then we can go to general. So that's just things like our time, our language. You can adjust. If you want to update your software, you can connect to the Wi-Fi and update your software. Uh, daylight savings times, you can adjust your clock here, as you can see in the general settings. We went over the blue length already. Wi-Fi, so you can connect to the Wi-Fi uh, for your wireless phone projection. And then your climate controls. Um, if you want to adjust anything with your climate controls, you can recirculate it there. So thank you so much for watching, guys. There's your wrap on your Hyundai Tucson infotainment system. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to ask me in the comment section below, and we'll be happy to answer them for you. Have a great day.